we are reacting today to a Planned Parenthood video about what is virginity. I never thought we'd come to a time where that's actually in question. Why do we have to know what virginity is? <laughs> oh no! I don't know, but this video should be fascinating. You've seen that I haven't, but welcome back to the Wilson Brothers channel. I'm David, this is Isaac. Up, don't forget to subscribe, but this one's gonna get spicy because I haven't seen this and Isaac said it is wild. Uh, okay guys, before we start this, just to know this video on YouTube has close to 30,000 views. Let's get more than that just to shove it down their throats. Let's shove it down their throat. Virginity. What is it? And what's the big deal about losing it? Let me cut to the chase. Virginity is a completely made up concept. It's a term that was created simply to control and shame people. Mainly women. Mm. A virgin is someone who's never had sex, but it's not as simple as it seems. Oh, really? For one thing, medically, virginity isn't a real thing. In some cultures, people place a lot of importance on the hymen, a thin, fleshy tissue located at the opening of your vagina as a marker of virginity. But the status of your hymen doesn't actually mean anything. That's because having people this and vagina sex is not the only way a hymen can stretch open. What did you make me watch, bro? <laughs> <laughs> what are you making me watch? <laughs> Guys, how different ridiculous is this? To shame women. That's the whole point, is to shame women. Because men, you know, you can say you're a virgin, which again, and depending on the culture you're in, some men are shamed for not being, or for being virgins because, yeah. oh, you couldn't get any, whatever. But... I love how we're having to go into the definition of this. What, what? Why is it so difficult? I don't understand. Either you've had sex or you haven't. It's that simple, bro. But she's going into a three-minute monologue trying to instill woke ideology and saying, oh, because you're shaming women. No. There's other ways for your area to be stretched. <laughs> Golly. Your <Isaac>. area. <laughs> Trying to keep this PG-13, oh, even it's, though... This video is not PG-13. It's definitely not. Hide your kids, hide your wives. Hide your kids, hide your wives. <laughs> and hide your husbands, we'll know, because they're not shamed, apparently. I mean, if they're shamed, you hide them. It can happen by putting something in your vagina, like a tampon or a finger, riding a bike, or doing sports. So you can't tell if someone's had sex by the way their hymen looks or feels. Another reason the idea of virginity is complete nonsense is that sex means different things to different people. Generally speaking, society tends to define sex in a very narrow way. Penetration, penis into vagina. But where does that definition leave queer people? Or folks who can't or don't have penis and vagina sex and choose to have oral, anal, or another oh, type of God. sex instead. I forgot about that part. And not everyone's part. first sexual experience <laughs> is consensual meaning that they were forced or pressured into having right, pause sex. It, pause it, pause it. This there is, is also a double standard. This is so cringe. This is, I'm struggling. What's bro. the purpose? Of, okay, let's talk about this for a second. What is the purpose of sex, first and foremost? Well, first, to procreate. Pro that, procreation that. is the foundational way sex has been labeled, identified, and distributed amongst the masses for thousands of years, and the moment that these woke idiots decide that they want to redefine what sex not only means, but how you lose your virginity? I mean... Come on! Where, where are the conservatives? Where are the... the you don't even have to be conservative to know this is ridiculous. Where's people with them standards? This isn't even a conservative thing. This is people... <laughs> this, I mean, right up there it says sex ed 101. They're teaching this to your kids. In school. Your six-year-olds. Yeah. Oh my God. I don't want my six-year-old knowing about how to stretch the hymen. I'm going to tell you what my father told me, and his father told him, and his father's father told him before that. Gross. Oh. <laughs> Carries the burden of virginity. Society puts pressure on men for not having sex at the exact same time they shame women for having it. Make it make sense. Either way, shame has no place in someone's personal decisions about sex. It's time to throw away the notion of losing your virginity. What if instead of losing something, we reframe it as gaining? Because the truth is, when we make our own decision to become sexually active, we aren't setting ourselves up to lose anything at all. We hope we are gaining things like intimacy, self-insight, pleasure, and empowerment. 
All of these myths around sex and virginity can be so hurtful and overwhelming. But here's the one truth you should remember. Sex is defined by one thing and one thing only, you. Maybe that's being feared for the first time. Maybe it's having anal sex. Maybe it's having your first orgasm. Maybe it's masturbating for the first time or when you enthusiastically consent to sex. That's the beauty of your it. <laughs> I can't. I, uh, here's my problem. It's so individualistic. All about me. It's all it's all about me, my sexual what preferences, to, is, what I decide to do. It doesn't matter if I hurt somebody else. The dictionary is going to get banned within five years because there's no absolute definitions of anything no, anymore. No, everything it's based, is relative. It's based off of what you want it to be in yeah. that moment. I can be whatever I want to be, and you have to call me that. I can have sex and bro. it's all about what you say it is. Bro. So if that's the case, bro, I'm a, you know, I have a kid and I'm a virgin because I say, you know, that's to me. I identify as a virgin. I identify as a virgin. Do you identify as Do a you virgin? I, this is ridiculous. <laughs> and some people in the comments are going to look at us and say, these men are so insensitive, misogynistic. so insensitive because they're not allowing people to do what they want to do. You can do what you want to do, but don't tell me something is whatever you want it to okay, be. Okay. Number one, it takes two to tango. For, it takes a man and a woman. In most situations. In most situations, unfortunately. Yes. Part number two, what happens when you have sex, David? You have kids. Well, you can do contraception. Yes, but it's not bulletproof. Nothing is, right? Yeah. So if you have sex, you might end up having a child. Does that Should that child suffer as a result of your decision? I don't think so. But to her, it's just individualistic. Just do whatever you want. Your your sexual preferences or whatever you feel in the moment is is totally fine. Well, and I'm okay. annoyed. I'm annoyed as well by she's saying you're not losing anything, but all the things you're gaining. And so you lose. in in a committed relationship, which I believe in marriage, yes, I gain everything that she mentioned. Yeah. But if you're just out there, you know, flaunting yourself and saying, hey, you know, get in a line because I'm ready to go, you know, to go to town. You're losing parts of yourself because when you have yeah. sex, you're giving of yourself to the other person. So and you're even if you don't believe spiritually, you are giving your DNA. Yes. You are allowing them to have, and you're giving parts of your DNA Scientifically away. Scientifically proven that every person you have sex with, you have their DNA in you. Even someone you kiss. Yeah. It even goes to that simplistic. Whoever you kiss, and this is you're both. exchanging DNA. This is both genders. This is not just, yeah. we're not talking just to women, guys. We're talking to men as well, because that's what this channel is about, is empowering men. Don't go out there and it's a gift. It, that gift, if you keep giving it to multiple people, this no longer becomes valuable anymore. It's just, we a, have 15 seconds left. Let it's me commoditize. I need to power through this. <laughs> Good choice of words. You're in charge, and you can figure it out on your own terms. Choosing to have sex, when, what kind, where, who with, is something that only you get to define. Of course, the good Planned old parent. Planned Parenthood. Okay, I will say this to you women. The, le the lower the body count you have, the more attractive you're going to be to a man. Does it Ooh, not be? You can that's still, controversial, dude. You can still be redeemed. I believe in yes. redemption if you change that lifestyle and decide to you know resist and you you know just go for healing and all those things there is redemption i do believe that but if you're living that active lifestyle and your body count more than your have the amount of friends you have then there is a problem and most guys of good value and good morality will not want to be with that because guys are jealous at the end of the day we want somebody to ourselves that they're not sharing themselves to the world yeah but again, the double standard, I do agree. The one thing with this video I agree with is how there's that double standard for men. We don't, yes, in society, women, the lower body count they have, it's more value. Women are but, shamed for having a higher body count yeah. than men. So you know, women are definitely shamed. They're for that. definitely shamed. I we yeah. agree with that. So in our world, men are, it's kind of like, oh, you know, good job. You've slept with a million girls, right? It's kind of a pat on the back thing. Yeah. We're trying to change that yeah. because we believe men should have morality in every, every, in every area of their life as well. So the double standard that they're talking about, yes, I agree. We need to change that. But you can't tell me that it's to start having sex for empowerment. What is that? It shows you don't have any self-control. Self-control and especially with men because we're men, we can speak to men. Having Because men think about sex 19 times a day and food 18. So we think about sex more than actually eating and surviving. As I'm married and I still do that. Right? 
And so when you have, when you're able to have self-control and the strongest urge that you have as a man, that is empowering. Yeah. So her, for her, it's empowering just to go out and sleep with as many people as you want because it's your choice. And you can divine sex however you yeah. want to define it. But if you choose to have restraint and make a decision to say no, that's more empowering than this will ever be. Oh, I agree. Because it leads to committed relationships, intimacy, and where both partners can gain that trust. And it's, it is, if you bring multiple partners that you've had in the past into a marriage, that trust is a lot easier to be broken mm -hmm. and it's a lot harder to build. Well, they've, it's not shown, impossible. they've shown that people with a low body count or two virgins getting married is like only a 10% chance of getting divorced. Yeah. Do you realize that? And there's a reason behind that. Yeah. If you're, if two people are promiscuous, you have a huge chance of getting divorced because there's going to be jealousy because if comparative, yeah, compare. because if the woman or the man did not have that restraint to say no to all those other people through, yes. throughout his life, then when you're married, you're going to be worried about them saying no to other people because yes. you're going to have arguments. There's times in my own marriage where I was ready to give up and my values and knowing that it's just me and my wife together that we've kept ourselves for the other person helped bring us back together. If I just had slept with so many people, cheating on my wife would have been no problem. I've been like, my marriage is over. I'm just going to cheat on her. Mm -hmm. But if you hold back, it shows that you have a stronger connection. You will have a stronger connection when you're married. What do you guys think of virginity? What are your thoughts? Post the comments below. Do you believe that sexual preference and sexual promiscuity is an empowering thing or do you think that it's disempowering? Let us know in the comments. Guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll be posting more videos like this in the future. See you soon. I'm sorry you had to sit through that. <laughs> we love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace. Peace.